my royalties. I told you, no one fucking listens to me, ever. And now I'm only just that now you read the responses on his social media. I told you. I told you. So Joshua goes on ESPN yesterday and says, make the fight and I'll sit down with you after my fight and we'll do a deal. And he goes, shit, um, how can we look okay out of this? Oh yeah, I've signed a deal to fight Ortiz, everybody. What, that morning? You know what I mean? Come on. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. That's what it is. But I told everyone, Ruiz, that's the focus. We can't, we can't do anything about people that don't want to fight. So we have to take care of our own career and what we know we are doing. And what we're doing is fighting at a sold out Madison Square Garden on Saturday night against Andy Ruiz. And Joshua better be ready, because this fat little fucker's coming to fight. What? Nothing. Oh, I like the passion. Go. No, but he is. Them. You saw him yesterday. No, you I know, know what he's like. This is gonna, he's going to be a I handful, know. I know. this guy. So stop talking about Wilder. He's a waste of time. He don't want the fight. They don't want the fight. He's talked into doing something else. He's not his own boss. He don't make his own decisions. Let him do what he's been talked into. And then when he becomes available, after he's fight Ortiz, after he's fought Konaki, then we'll, we'll, I guess we'll try again. Do you believe now the reason why Ortiz didn't take the Joshua fight is because obviously... Yeah, I said that. Like, like, fight. Not, not so the, that it that wasn't was the done reason. then. That was, he, was, he knew he was likely to get it. Yeah, but is he getting seven million? Could you speculate so. on what he'll, be, what he'll be earning for that? Is it a pay-per-view? Because if it that is, it'll do about 100,000 buys. No, no. Uh, Listen, it's embarrassing, but forget about it. We've got, to, we've got to just crack on with serious people. Did you have any idea that that announcement was coming yesterday? It wasn't an announcement, was it? It was just an embarrassment. It was like, oh shit, um, Joshua was going to stick it on me again at a press. Oh, let's just announce I've done a fight and all. I've, I've, I've signed for Ortiz. When did you sign? Yesterday, yesterday afternoon. What, well, after Joshua's ESPN? Ooh, how convenient. You Come don't call that an announcement think? then, you don't call that an announcement. Not really, where's the official, I mean, it was, it was just, hi everybody, just to let everybody know, this is what I'm doing next. There'll be an announcement soon, uh, regarding everything, but just, just so no one puts any more pressure on me this week, I'm, I'm not fighting Joshua, because I've already got another fight. Oh. Let's get on with real players, come on. Are you busy? I'm busy, I'm fucking busy, don't waste my time. It's embarrassing. Are you even optimistic that this happens in 2020? No. I mean, Are you I serious? Know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else you can do. Like, oh. He'll fight once more this year, Wilder. Yeah. Joshua will fight yeah. once more this year. Yeah. So, 19's out of the way, but yeah. surely 2020. Well, he's fighting Konaki next. I told you. He's done a free fight deal with Showtime to fight Brazil, Ortiz, and Konaki. It's done. Is that like, facts? Yeah, this is what I'm told all the time. I, this morning people can't speak. You know he's done a deal with Showtime, don't you? He can't fight Joshua. He's, he's got these other fights already done and confirmed. But he, you know, he has the power to say to these guys, no, I'm going to do the fight that makes me an incredible amount of money, and I'm going to do a fight that the public want. Instead he comes out going, I'm going to right the wrongs of the Ortiz fight. Um, mate, you knocked him out in the 10th round, or 11th round, or whatever it was. You've done that, like... Anyway. It's a good fight though, isn't it? Don't you think? It's alright, yeah. I mean, look, he's, he's getting old. Ortiz is getting seriously old. He hasn't looked good since that fight. But he's, he's a decent fight. It's not, it's not a horrific fight, but why take that fight when you've already beat him and you've got Joshua there to go? In an undisputed fight, the biggest fight, one of the biggest fights in, he in boxing history. Will you turn your attention to Fury now, more so, as you kind of see Wilder's A little bit, yeah. Match. Yeah, I mean, we have to take care of our mandatories as well. WBO mandatory, IBF mandatory. What is that current situation regarding ESA? So the, the WBO haven't ruled yet on the mandatory situation, but we have a WBO mandatory due. We it could still be ESA. Could be. Yeah. We have an IBF mandatory due in Pulev. Yeah. we got maybe even a Dillian White fight we just jump into in November. I don't know. There's, there's lots to talk about. But the only thing I'm thinking about is Saturday night. Andy Ruiz, because I told you, this kid's going to come to fight. And if Joshua's not on his game, he won't beat Ruiz. And then the whole thing's no, always no, 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 them no, rematching absolutely. Ruiz. <laughs> that's how, that's how December Then you'll be signing Ruiz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, just tell people what's going on here today. Quickly. So we've got uh, the undercar press conference today, as you can see. Good setup, yeah. Yeah, good setup, isn't it? Ramond. So that's how we do, baby. As long as we turn that siren off, it'll be all right. All right. Eddie Hearn, thank you very okay. much. We'll catch up with you soon. What's up, fight fans? It's your man, 3K the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. Bah, bah. You know what it is. All right, man, so I'm going to just go ahead and jump right into the bullshit. All right, Deontay Wilder is just being bashed all on Twitter, all on Instagram. The Sun, Daily Mail, 
Los Angeles Times, you name it. It's just becoming an absolute problem. Like, he just genuinely doesn't want to fight him. And this is the stuff I've been telling you guys, man, for the past couple months. I said, like I said, once again, like I said earlier, don't expect it until you're 40, man. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. And Eddie Hearn is right. He does have a bunch of yes men in his corner. You know, like, I mean, not only that. He is not a boss, and he is not an ambassador of his own destiny, because clearly they're telling him what to do, and he's not telling them what to do. I don't see any belief there from his team. What is it about this six, seventh massive behemoth of a man with fists the size of sledgehammers that are scaring you from wanting to take this bout? I know my emphasis on his description. <laughs> <laughs> probably isn't helping subside the fear, but it's true. You know, I just, I'm at the point where it's just like, hey, man, it's just long overdue. Like I said, let's knock out everything around him and just deal with the fact that it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. He is too protected. He wants protection. It's like, you know what I'm saying? That kid that needs his mom to be on the porch to have, you know what I'm saying? While the other little kid is saying, yo, come fight me. Come fight me. He need his mama to go out there and grab him by the ear, shove him off the porch and say, you better fucking fight and you better win or I'm going to beat your ass for him to make his move. Because clearly he is scared. And I don't like to, you know what I mean, call other individuals cowards and things of that nature. But when you're giving the public the perception that you are a coward and you're ducking and oh my God, how coincidental that this fight is signed right after Joshua does his ESPN and says he wants to sit down with you after the Ruiz match. Just like Eddie Hearn said. No venue. Just a roundabout day. So, let's just come to the grips of it is what it is, man. And just let, you know, society and life take its course. Because he will be bashed. He will continue to be bashed. And I don't think it's something he's going to be able to live with. It's almost to the point now where all the decisions he's making is own for, for his own self-destruction. And I'm not sure that he could even see it. He almost has to be as blind, as blind as Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder put together to not know that he is signing his own career's death certificate. And he is clearly self-destructing. These fights aren't bringing you no fame. They're not boosting your profile. They're only making you infamous. They're making the infamy that much more clear because... The things that you are doing, man, it isn't for legacy, it isn't Hall of Fame material, it isn't anything anybody can res respect. Now, what us as Americans and other people in the world can respect is if you just come out and say, just say, hey, man, I'm scared of Anthony Joshua, you know, his reign in 22 fights, he's accomplished way more than I can, and he's just a much more naturally gifted athlete, and I don't think that I'm on that level or I'm there. I need one, two, three, four, five, or 50 tune-up matches. That is cool. I mean, we've waited this long. Your truth will vindicate not only yourself, and it'll vindicate us as well, but you are holding sledgehammers worth of weight on your shoulders of deceit and fear, and it's loathing. We just want the best, man. We want the best for boxing. We want the best for the heavyweight division, considering that it is revitalized on a level of unfathomable but unfathomable potential. We just want more out of the American heavyweights, considering the moniker that they've carried for so long of being those guys, and you are truly ruining it. And even boxing fans of all walk of life want the same because they used to seeing us had those killers and you my friend are not that killer this is two hands up that's all i got for you today and as we always say it costs you nothing to pay a nigga no mind bye, bye. respect